Today we're going to go over some of the things I've experienced in my time of concealed carry. Um, if you've seen my previous video on the Ace Undercover Concealment Garment, which I'm wearing underneath here, um, I wanted to go over a few things that I've learned since then. Um, as you can see, it, it it covers really good as far as concealment. Um, you can't tell very well, but I do have my pistol here and two extra mags. Um, I prefer these these shirts with snaps. Um, that way, if I have to get to it quickly, it's just a matter of just getting to it like that. Um, another thing that I've noticed about the clothing is I like to get these extra long because I don't always wear this. In fact, what I wanted to go over is some of the things that I don't like about this undercover garment. Um, first off, in the summertime, you get a lot of sweat. Um, I noticed a lot of sweat built up on my firearm in this area. Uh, the other thing I don't like is of course this retaining strap here. Um, what I really do not like, no rigid trigger guard. And of course, constantly flagging myself, which by the way, this is loaded, it is condition one. Um, another thing I wanted to go over is another alternative that I had purchased for when I don't want to basically put a gun belt on and for quick trips to the grocery store or to the gym. These belly bands, junk, these bands are just, they're terrible once again. No rigid trigger guard, crappy retaining strap. You know, if, if you have to get to the weapon quickly, you gotta undo that retaining strap and um, these things, you know, they feel like they're constantly falling down no matter how tight you pull it. Um, they're comfortable, but not very practical. Same thing with the Ace Undercover Garment. Very comfortable, not very practical. I use this maybe, uh, I'd say once every three months. Uh, wear it a little bit more now here in the winter, but even still, without that rigid trigger guard there, I, I just, I do not like that, and the retaining strap, I do not like it. Uh, same thing with those, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the Urban G2, it, it basically looks like a phone case, and you pull it up, and, and, and you pull the firearm out of it, it shows all the way down in your pants, okay. First off, I don't have one of those to demonstrate, but the way this thing goes, if you appendix carry, of course, let me scoot my chair back a little. It, it tucks down into your pants right about in this area, which um, tends to print really heavy and, uh, well, the gals might think that you're really excited to see them, depending on the size of your firearm, that is. Um, the other thing, of course, is no rigid trigger guard on it. Those things are a complete gimmick, and I would not recommend purchasing those. What I do recommend for concealed carry is any type of hard polymer or kydex. This one happens to be kydex. Not the best clip in the world, but it does make for good ease of access as far as 
removing it from inside and outside of your waistband. Tilt that down a little more. And that cover is pretty good. Um, I, I like the pattern on this because it, it helps to prevent printing. You don't see much printing there at all. Um, has a rigid trigger guard and fairly easy to access. And that's pretty much it for today. Um, like I said, main thing, rigid trigger guard. Be safe, God bless, and America.